everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Dewey Does It, bringing you honest and unbiased reviews. Today we have another stealth product. As usual, coming in the standard stealth tin with a nice logo, white. I don't know if that's paint or how they do that, but it looks pretty sharp. Paint, ink, really don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. But again, it comes in a nice tin. Super dense foam to protect the product inside and we are touching in on the Stealth Aventador Mini Electroplated. This is brass and it is electroplated in a gun metal. I think they're calling it black. It looks like just gun metal. I don't know what gun metal, black, gray, brown, but I guess it's gun metal. It's not exactly black to me, but it's nice. I like it. Anyway, we'll get a weight on this bad boy. Let's see what we got. And coming in at 42.6 grams. Okay. Cut that off. And check out. We got the standard look again. There's not much to tell different about the mini Aventador from one to the next except for the finishes. And it does seem that this electroplated one is just a little bit smoother on the edges, but none of them have any bad spots, hot spots or anything. I'm a stainless steel one. But uh, you got your standard look. You got your three tritium slots cut in on each side. It fits 1.5 by 6 millimeter tritium. And you got your raised area here with the Stealth logo. And this is a, a one finish. So, being electroplated, there's not a two-tone finish on it. So, you got the nice standard caps. I believe they're about 17 millimeters. Very well balanced, very smooth spin. Like, no noise. But, uh, I just wanted to say thank you to Stealth Spinners and to Max for saying this to me for a review. I'm really enjoying doing this, and uh, I hope to continue. I really hope my channel grows, so anybody out there, please like and subscribe, and uh, recommend my channel to others, please. I really would appreciate it. Once I get enough subscribers, then other companies send me stuff for review, then I can turn around and send stuff out in giveaways. So, here it is. Stealth Mini Aventador. Give her just a little spin there. Look how quiet that thing is. I haven't changed anything about this. I've only had it out of the tin a couple times to look at it and show a couple people. I put it right back in. I carry the stainless steel one daily. And uh, it's got the bearing that came in it, so I'm pretty sure it's just a standard stainless steel bearing. I haven't replaced it with a Super Stealth hybrid ceramic yet. I figured there's no need to since I don't really do anything with it yet. I like to keep stuff a little bit as I can, pretty much untouched. But, uh, yeah, just thought I'd bring you this today and let you guys know that this is another amazing stealth product. Super smooth, super fun, very well balanced spinner. Every time somebody sees it, they just they fall in love with it. They can't believe the, uh, the how long it spins and how it feels and how heavy it actually is for being so small. I mean, it's tiny. It's very nice. But, uh, I haven't timed this one yet, but I'm going to suggest or uh, assume that it's probably going to get about the same amount of spin time out of the box as the other ones do, around three and a half to four minutes or so my best guess I don't know but uh, once that bearing is changed out to a super stealth you can break it in a little bit I have achieved over five minute spins on my stainless steel one there we go I believe these are about uh, $33 on the stealth site if I'm not mistaken and they have had promotion for saving like 15% put in save 15 at the checkout to save 15% and uh, that should save you 
about $5, I'd say. 135 I think it saves $4.95. So it brings it down from 35 to about $30. And this one being $33, I believe it is. Being the brass electric plated, I believe it's just a couple dollars cheaper. So that would drop that uh, discount probably by 50 cents or something, not much. And yeah, so there you go. Stealth Mini Aventador brass electro plated gunmetal. Very nice. I like it. So, go to Stealth Site, check them out, and Make the purchase. Don't hesitate. Don't wait. Get it. Don't debate. The good stuff. Having some really awesome sales. They got these out in uh, aluminum too that are anodized, different colors. And I think those are around twenty or twenty-two dollars for the aluminum ones. I haven't had the chance or the privilege to have one in my hand yet, so looking forward to getting one one of these days. And the full size of Ventador. That is in aluminum also. I think it would be nice. So, just kind of waiting for that to happen. Hope I can do a good enough job here. Max will decide, hey, you know, we'll send him another one to, to review. We'll see how that works. Yeah, hopefully, Max, send me some more. Thank you.